Hi guys, what's up? In this tutorial, we are learning how to use Rhino Slayer setting. Let's have a look at the right part of your Rhino windows. The first one is named Properties, the second one is Layer. Okay, and then the first column is New Layer. If I click it, I can create a lot of new layers, as you see, right? And then I can change the layer's color from this option. Click it. And I just choose right for the first one. You can choose what you want. Or you can choose your color like this. You can drag it. Cool. And then let's see how to use layer to change model color. Select an object and then select your layer, layer 1 and right click and there will be a lot of options you can choose. For example, rename layer, I can rename it to be right and then let's say change object layer. Okay, click it. Then you find your box change the color to the right one. It means it's already in our right layer, right? It was in the default layer. Okay, let's see the next one. Change object layer and change it to the green layer. Cool. And also you can delete your layer from here. Delete it. There will be a remainder if you want to delete it. Click yes. Or you can delete it from here. Right click and delete layer. It is the same thing. Okay, and then let's see the second options here. New sub layer. What it means? If I create a layer, just change it. You can double click and change the name. The boxes. Select the boxes. Change up the layers. Cool. And then I can create a sub layer, click it, and you can see we create a sub layer under the boxes layer, right? What it means, let's select the volumes and change object layer. If I click turn off boxes layer, add it, you can see all of the volumes have been added. But if I only had this sub layer, only this box has been added, right? That is how the sub layer works. It means something under the mother layer. Okay. And let's see what else. So this one is material options. If we change this material into um, metal, maybe let's say picture paint metal. Then click OK. If we go to the rendered mode, they have different materials now, right? This one is metal material. So let's fold it back, Ctrl Z. And also we have some other options we can try. This one is line type. If I draw a line, you can see it's a continuous line, right? But I can if I double click this layer, it means I'm using this layer options. If I change it into the maybe center line width and then click OK. If I draw another line and select it, change object layer. You can see it's center line width now, right? Okay, in this tutorial, we learned how to use our layer settings. Cool, guys, practice. And then we do the next tutorial. Hi, guys, how's it going for the tutorials? Now I would like to share something with you. As you know, you can watch tutorials on our channel. But for those who just starting with 3D modeling or who is interested in having more details and semantic learning to improve their Rhino skills, we have designed a series of architectural modeling and design courses for Rhino and Grasshopper. Come to our website, 
r a n a o x g r o u p c o m The first link in the descriptions. Let's see how it works. Open your browser windows and tap r a n a o x g r o u p c o m Get close to look at our course. You can join our r a n a o architecture design tutorials from beginner to advanced course. The first one is unlimited time course. The second one is monthly payment course. It has the same course, just different purchasing method. Learning this course, you will get a step-by-step -step approach to learn with how to be modeling organic architectures, parametric architectures through interesting cases and famous architects project. For example, the Hahadis project, Math project, Via Pingo's project, Shidiju Bonds project, and much, much more. Join our professional architecture course and design your miracle. Also, if you want to have files, materials, or YouTube tutorials, you can guide them by supporting and become our blog members. You can find the link in the description. I would like to thank all of our blog membership supporters. It really helps us create even better and more tutorials. If you like the tutorial and would like to see more, please click the like button and make sure you subscribe our channel. And we publish the new videos two times per week.